Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. With Touch For Me, the makers of the best Photoshop plugins just released their latest tool, the FaceMake plugin. This AI-powered plugin is designed to enhance facial features effortlessly. Whether it's refining face shape, adjusting proportions, or applying natural-looking makeup, this tool does it all with just a click. With FaceMake, you can reshape facial features for a more balanced look. Apply AI-powered makeup with precision. Find tool adjustments to keep edits natural. In this video, I'll show you exactly how FaceMake works and how it can transform your retouching process. Let's dive in. For now, let's use the standalone plugin. And let's start with this image. On the top left, you have the before and after view. And below that, it allows you to view contours of facial features. Let's zoom in so we can see it better. As you can see, the AI did an amazing job mapping the face accurately. Then here on the right side are the filters. We have lifting, makeup, displace, texture, and reshape. Then down here is the automatic human scale detection, close-up portrait, and full-length portrait. Let's start with the lifting section. Lifting enhances facial features by subtly raising or tightening areas. It can make the face look more youthful and refreshed. By default, it is set to 100. You can also manually adjust these sliders according to your preference. The smoothing slider is for adjusting the intensity of the effect. The lips effect adjusts the fullness of the lips. The fun mode option is if you want to play around and have some sort of cartoon effect on your image. The next section is makeup, which is self-explanatory. This filter is highly subjective, so feel free to be as creative as you can and use your imagination as the makeup combinations are endless. You can click on the drop-down box right here or click the left and right arrows to go through each effect. Then adjust the depth slider according to your taste. You can also change the hue if you want to. Same goes for the lips and for the skin. Okay, let's have a look at what we've done so far. This is the original image and this is with the lifting and makeup filters. Before, after. Before, after. Let's zoom out to see the entire image. Before, after. Before, after. What do you think? Did the face make plugin do a great job applying makeup? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. The next section is the displace filter. There are some built in presets for certain areas of the face. Let's choose narrow nose. Then we can move this slider to adjust the effect. Now let's try big eyes. Okay, now this looks very cartoonish. I won't be using this tool to be honest. The next section is texture. It helps maintain skin details and realism while applying facial adjustments because the AI adjustments can sometimes soften or blur skin too much. I wouldn't use this feature that much either. In the last section is the reshape section. There are some built-in presets that warps the overall features of the face. One tool that I found to be useful is the Symmetry Slider, where it adjusts uneven eyes, lips, nose, or eyebrows for a more balanced look. Just make sure to set it as woman, and adjust the depth and focal length as well. Subtleness is the key, don't overdo it. Okay, now let me do a quick time-lapse edit and I will show you the final output in a bit. Okay, we're back. So I have applied lifting, makeup, and reshape. Let's see how it looks. This is the original image, and this is with the face make plugin. Before, after. Before, after. Let's zoom out. Before, after. Before, after. So, what do you think? Do you like my edit? Comment down below. Okay, now let me show you the face make plugin inside Photoshop. We go to Filter, Retouch For Me, Retouch For Me Face Make. Let's zoom in. Then let's enable lifting and set the amount to 20. For the makeup, let's set the eyes to smoke veil, the lips to plump lips, and the skin to blushed radiance. And then if you look here at the left hand corner, there are two new icons. The pan and zoom icon, and the edit face mesh icon. The edit face mesh tool allows us to accurately map and select facial features, such as eyebrows, eyes, nose, mouth, and face. So if the AI missed a spot, we can manually adjust and correct it if needed. Okay, this is the before, this is after. Before, after. Before, after. Let's also enable reshape and set the symmetry all the way to 100. Before, after. Before, after. 
Then we click apply to go back to Photoshop. So when do you use the standalone software in the Photoshop plugin? The way I see it, for batch processing, you should use the standalone software. For single edits that require accuracy and precision, use the Photoshop plugin to take advantage of the Edit Face Mesh tool. I just wish that there was a reset button, or the plugin automatically resets when editing a new image, because somehow it retains the settings from the last edited image, which can be annoying at some times, unless you will be using the same exact edits. Then for that, there should be an option to create personal presets. Okay, let's edit another image right here. Press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the layer. Then convert the duplicate layer for smart filters. Then we go to Filter, Retouch for Me, Retouch for Me Face Make. As I mentioned earlier, it retained the settings from our last edit. Let's adjust the face mesh a little bit. Let's keep the lifting section as it is and change the makeup instead. Let's go with Mocha Drama for the eyes. Cure Nude for the lips. And Scarlet Contour for the skin. Then let's adjust the reshape section by decreasing the depth and symmetry. Before, after. Before, after. Let's zoom in and adjust the face mesh some more. Before, after. Before, after. Okay, that's much better. The lips look too thick in my opinion, so let's just set it all the way to zero. Okay, this is perfect. Then we click apply to go back. This is the original image, and this is with the face make plugin. Before, after. Before, after. And that's retouch for me face make in action. As you saw, it makes facial enhancements effortless while keeping the results natural and professional. If you're a photographer or retoucher looking to speed up your workflow, this plugin is definitely worth checking out. Click the link in the video description for a discounted price. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more retouching tools and tutorials. Let me know in the comments what you think of FaceMake. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.